The space time continuum. When a massive star spends all of its fuel to surviving, it will run empty and collapse in upon itself, and a black hole will form. The collapse will cause an exploding star or a supernova and parts of that star will be blasted into space. However, the gravity of a black hole is so strong they say nothing, not even light can escape it. Before I knew who she was, the city told me stories of my mother, of her days on stages like this one, how the hood lined up to see her perform, say she was destined to be a star. And those stories always end with, and then something went wrong, and then she went dark, say she had a first child in the middle of a first breakdown and hasn't stopped having either since. They recite life didn't deal her cards fairly, like an epitaph across her body. My mother is a black hole now. Inside a black hole, time is measured in the distance that an object travels from its center. So when you're looking at something from inside it, you don't know if you're looking at the future or the past. Like 23 years ago when my little sister was a fetus, my birth mother, a not-so-recovering crack addict with the help of her then-boyfriend, robbed a gas station at gunpoint, then fled. Last week, my little sister, 23 now, receives a call from police. My birth mother was arrested, high, for the 23-year-old robbery, and it's hard to know if we're looking at the future or the past or if the object traveled at all. I fear the day I will stray too far from where I was born, and just when I think myself a supernova, her gravity will render me missing, come back to find me, shove me into the dark of her inescapable body. She will call her gravity love. I will fill it a casket. I will have to remember that this is how black holes love, and I swear I know she loves us. My second oldest sister knew it too. She ran away from home immediately after the first call we ever got from our birth mother to visit. And I wonder what she learned on her visit. Must be the way they have the same laugh or choice in men. Or that they're always running from what will catch up to them. I think it caught up. My sister died in the hands of her not-so-recovered boyfriend. She was high and pregnant. My sister is a black hole now, or stuck in one. Either way, ain't no light coming from her no more. And perhaps this is the reason why my birth mother is leaving the two newest children in the custody of the two oldest surviving ones. It's because she knows astrophysics in a way college could never teach her and knows when she loves something, the only way she can love something, she is liable to crush it, even if all she wants to do is mother it. So it's not that I'm not thankful to be a light and alive in this world when everyone said I wouldn't be. It's just that you know what they say. The light don't fall too far from the black hole and neither of us have ever traveled far enough to know if that's true or not I swear most days my head be in the stars even when my body won't get out of bed I think my body so afraid it's gonna inherit her epitaph it won't even try you can't call what ain't try to fail you can't pronounce what ain't lived dead and our futures reaching so far back to our past our past is holding hands with our future and ain't this the space time continuum the way time changes inside a black hole if I'm cursed with a series of laps that are in in the darkness I was birthed can I just take my time birth mom today the sun is shining even if you can't reach it right now, or anymore, even if it won't let you love it back, and ain't the sun the greatest thing you ever gave this galaxy? Ain't that enough to just let it live? To let it go?